Hey everybody, Adam Man here. This is episode two of the Quail Chronicles. Stay with us. So what I'm going to deal with now is that my, my girls have been in the house a couple days. They're get, starting to be more comfortable. They're not freaking out as much. They're, they're more relaxed. I want to try to get at their food, water, and um, the lighting as perfect as I possibly can to get them to lay eggs because they haven't laid any eggs yet. And the guy that just gave them me said that they had been. At least two of the three had been. So I want to get them to lay again. I know it's stressful being in a new house, but I want to get everything just right. So the first thing is you want to get a, um, a food that's got at least 22% protein. Most feeds will have between 22 and 26%. That is good. And they say to get a turkey starter or a wild game food. And I found this at my local feed store. And this, I believe, has got 22, 22, yep, 22% protein. So this should be good for them. And um, if they had been babies, if I was raising babies, I'd want a higher protein. But this should be good for egg-laying females. And then I've got this ground-up oyster shell that I got at the feed store also. You just sprinkle this in the food. It's very, very fine. And uh, they get extra calcium for the egg production from this also. And also they get some grit from that because they always need some grit. So we're going to use that to boost their, uh, their food, get them on some good food, good calcium, hopefully get some eggs. And... Uh, We'll see what else we can do. I went ahead in there. Let's check on the girls. Morning, girls. So first off, I'll sprinkle some of this oyster shell in their food. That's good. This water's just getting destroyed. Now I need a bigger water bowl. If I need a bigger water bowl. All right, here's what I came up with in a pinch. This is a, an empty cat food can. This should do well, holds more water, less tippable. Hopefully this will work for the girls. For now at least, until I figure out something better. They've got their hut, that should be good. So, I don't like they're digging it. Oh, they're digging those oyster shells, man. So check it out. I had this uh, extra lighting fixture that I just like screwed onto the wall there. I've got it going down. Got an extension cord down there. I'm going to take one of these timers. Oh, 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 oh. There you are. And um, I've got it set. Focus. Got it set for 15 hours. They say these birds will lay the best anywhere from 14 to 16 hours of light. Doesn't need to be sunlight, just light. So we've got it 5 a.m. to 5 p.m. is 12, 34 to 15. Yeah, I've got 15 hours programmed in here. And uh, hopefully they'll start laying between the food and less stress and better lighting, longer lighting rather, longer photo period. They'll start laying and then they'll lay consecutively. They'll lay reliably for us. How'd I get that? Boom. All right. So that's all set up. Wish us luck. Some nice light. Alright girls. Oh, they're digging those oyster shells. <laughs> 